Welcome back to Masculine Scrapping. We're going to be working on the final page from the Animal Kingdom day. And it's uh, really, if you go to the Animal Kingdom, you can't not go to uh, the safari ride. And so these are some pictures from the safari ride. Uh, one of the African uh, musicians playing an instrument. I sat and watched that for about an hour. It's just relaxing and, and beautiful to watch. And then that night we ate at a African themed restaurant uh, in the Animal Kingdom. You can see I've cut these photos a little different. In fact, I think I want to do it like that. There we go. And um, this matting, again, Animal Kingdom, uh, just cut those letters out and you can see the same Animal Kingdom pattern there at the top. And all I did was just tape a piece of brown paper behind this. Thought about doing the same up here with the animals, but I liked the way it looks with those lines from the background paper. So I decided to leave that, that alone. These did not look good because it was, uh, it was harder to read um, uh, through that, that print. But the animals look pretty good. So let's start by getting these photographs onto the page. And I put myself in the middle, flanked by my son. It's kind of fun that he's old enough now. He he takes photographs of me using his camera. And then I always have to say, send me all your photos before we leave. I then, He texts them to me and then I save them to my phone immediately. And then I now have my photographs plus his photographs for when I am scrapbooking. And so technology in that way has has really been helpful in getting more pictures of myself because in the earlier albums you hardly ever see me in the albums because I was always the one uh, taking the pictures okay so there we go and then I'm gonna run a little bit of tape along the bottom here just to make sure that I get both of these uh, sticking. I don't want that to pull apart. And then I'm just going to make sure I get a lot of tape in here at the top so that it doesn't pull apart. And there we go. Again, even though I'm pressing down the matting, I'm touching the photographs so I don't want to mess that up. Cut this giraffe out using my uh, Cricut machine. Uh, you can see here I've got two busy patterns that I'm going to put this on. I'm not going to tear that edge because it's already busy. And then I have matted these photographs. Again, I had these photographs with just very uh, small parts with picture focus in them, you know, the giraffe here. So in order to save space on the page, I cut the photographs to about an inch and a half wide uh, and uh, kept these photo. Well, actually, even this I think even the uh, gorilla I might have cut down a bit. Let's see. Yep, I cut the, I cut these down to five inches. So this is four by five, and like two by five, and then this is still a six. So I've got different sizes of photographs, but they fit together uh, nicely uh, in that mosaic. You don't always have to use the full size photograph, especially if there's a bunch of stuff in the photograph that doesn't make sense. If you cut them down, you can get more uh, onto the page. And in this case, uh, cutting those photographs down allowed me to add this really cool uh, giraffe that I cut with my Cricut machine. And again, this was one of the ones that was already part of design, Cricut design. So I didn't have to do a bunch of work to find it. Just uh, select it and then uh, Basically, I had to pick. Oh, I have run. I just have now run out of tabs. There we go. Those are the last ones on that. So perfect timing. And I am going to let this giraffe overlap a little bit and put his face on that photograph. So there we go. Animal Kingdom. Final pages from our time at the Animal Kingdom. The Wild Animal Safari. And... Uh, the African restaurant, man, I cannot think of the name of it right now, but I had roasted leg of lamb, which is one of my favorite things. My son had a charcuterie board, and we had a great time. I uh, hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this, 
Uh, would be loving to see your projects and thanks for spending time with us. Take care.